These are 15 insane football moments. These moments are so exciting, you'll feel like you're right there in the stadium. Let's kick things off with the one and only Lionel Messi. In July of 2023, it's Messi's Inter Miami debut, and the game's intensity is sky high. As time ran out, Messi was awarded a free kick. What happened next was pure Messi magic. He kicked the ball so skillfully that it curved into the top end of the net. Messi! It was a nightmare for the goalkeeper and a dream for the fans. Next up, we've got the Hulk, our very own football superhero. Brazilian legend known for his incredibly powerful shots. In 2014, he hit a 40-yard shot against FC Zenit that clocked in at 67.1 miles per hour. The ball flew past the goalkeeper so fast he probably thought he just saw a comet. But we're not done with Hulk yet. He once hit a shot that was so powerful, it rattled the woodwork and rebounded like it was trying to escape Earth's orbit. His record is a free kick that he blasted against Santos at an unbelievable 75 miles per hour. That's what you call making a mark with sheer power. Next up we've got Ronaldo Jr. There's nothing more powerful than blood, especially if it's the blood of CR7, the son of Cristiano Ronaldo. Just like his father, this young prodigy is leaving defenders and goalkeepers amazed. At the age of 12, Ronaldo Jr. is already showing signs that he could become a great footballer with his father's incredible genes and his own unique talent. He's turning heads everywhere. For example, in his debut for the Juventus U19, he scored an incredible four goals. And that's just the beginning. He's been a goal-scoring machine at the youth teams of Man U, Real Madrid, and Juventus, where he once scored 58 goals in just 28 games. The Ronaldo dynasty continues. Next up we've got Guzman. The goalkeeper turned a penalty shootout into a magic show. During a tense League's Cup match against Vancouver, Guzman pulled a trick that you'd be more likely to see in a circus than on a football field. As Vancouver midfielder Veselinovic prepared to kick the penalty, Guzman decided it was time to show off. He pretended to pull a silly string out of his mouth. The referee was not amused and gave him a yellow card, but the crowd must have been laughing hysterically. And guess what? The trick worked! Guzman saved the penalty and the Tigers won the match. We're still wondering if he has a career in magic waiting for him after football. Next up we've got Lucas Puskas award winning goal. Sometimes goalkeepers pray if there is magic. When it's about stopping goals like this, we are not talking about just another goal. It's an award winning goal. The international U20 striker Luca scored an awe inspiring goal that won the Puskas Award. Luca pulls off a bicycle kick from outside the penalty box. O Luca vai esperando, controlou, chapéu, mandou gol! This moment of pure genius happened during a Copa FGF match against Grêmio. The goal sent social media into a frenzy, with fans around the globe replaying the absurdo kick as the commentator rightly called it. It's one of those goals where you just can't help but stand and applaud, regardless of which team you're rooting for. Next up, we've got a victory of 27 goals in a single game. Yeah, that's exactly what happened when Bayern Munich faced off against amateur FC club Rotak Egger. From start to end, Bayern was unstoppable. They showed amazing skill, power, and finesse that was too much for the other club to handle. Up now, Jamal Musiala! The easiest goals that Alfonso Davies has ever scored in his professional career. Despite trying their best, the amateur team was outplayed at every turn. But it's okay, at least they got a once in a lifetime chance to share the pitch with some of the world's best. A learning experience like no other. Next up, we've got Alan Smith. Switching to a more somber note, we remember a moment that reshaped the career of a talented footballer. It was January 2006, and Liverpool faced off against Man U, their intense rivalry on full display. Smith, playing midfield for United, acted like any dedicated player would. He charged in to block a free kick from Liverpool's John Arne Rees. However, fate had other plans. In a heartbreaking turn of events, Smith suffered a horrible injury, breaking his leg and dislocating his ankle. The scene left fans and players alike in a state of shock. His right leg, and it's sort of loose and... Ooh. 
manager Alex Ferguson, the legendary United manager, described it as one of the worst injuries he ever witnessed. Smith was carried off on a stretcher, his journey taking an unexpected turn that day. This incident marked the beginning of a battle, not just for recovery, but also for reclaiming his place on the field. Back to something more lighthearted. We've got I Show Speed. This guy is a bundle of energy, a YouTuber, rapper, and streamer who skyrocketed to fame with his fun-loving personality and hilarious reactions in his gaming live streams. <laughs> 2022 was a breakthrough year for Speed, with his TikTok videos going viral and his collaborations had everybody buzzing. His rise to fame is a testament to how talent and charisma can turn the digital world on its head. And in 2023, Speed stepped into a whole new arena, the Sidemen Charity Match. Facing off against KSI, Speed was determined to shut KSI up once and for all. The match was a thrilling spectacle, filled with anticipation, excitement, and a penalty shootout that kept everyone on the edge of their seats. Speed, what is that? But he missed. This heartwarming story is also unusual, but this video of Mario Balotelli took the internet and the world by storm. Balotelli, the Italian football star known for his on-field brilliance and off-field escapades, had a rather special companion, a pet pig named Super. In 2013, Balotelli introduced Super to the world. But here's where things get funny. When Balotelli made the big move from AC Milan to Liverpool in 2014, he faced an obstacle bigger than any defender. Government rules on bringing animals into the country, despite his best efforts, to get Super to the UK, including trying to register as a breeder and obtaining a health certificate for the pig. Balotelli had to leave his porky friend behind. Some say that Super's absence affected Balotelli's game, because his first season with Liverpool only saw one goal. He's lucky his fans didn't care that much. Because nowadays, fans are doing some extreme things. Fans often come to the stadium with banners to support their favorite team. But we're not talking about your everyday go team banners. We're talking signs so quirky and hilarious, they deserve their own Hall of Fame. In a Real Madrid match in 2017, one fan sign was a real showstopper. I'd trade my mom for a messy shirt. That is some serious dedication, or should we say, desperation. And it gets even weirder. The prize for the strangest fan sign might just go to the one made for Alvarez. Alvarez, please give me your shorts. Yeah, shorts. Football fandom truly knows no limits. But what's even crazier, Alvarez even gave him his shorts. Next up is the battle for Nuremberg. Portugal versus the Netherlands. 2006 World Cup. On June 25th, 2006, Portugal faced off against the Netherlands in what was expected to be a thrilling display of footballing prowess. Instead, the match turned into a record-breaking spectacle of aggression, earning its place in FIFA history for all the wrong reasons. The match played in Nuremberg, Germany, witnessed an unprecedented 16 yellow cards and 4 red cards, making it the most card-filled match in FIFA history. The tension on the field was palpable. <laughs> Every tackle seemed like a fight in itself. With Ronaldo becoming the target of some brutal challenges, eventually leading to his substitution. No wonder Messi keeps his expensive bodyguard with him. Yasin Chuko has become a part of Messi's life as football itself. Chuko's no ordinary bodyguard. He is a former US Navy SEAL with combat experience in Iraq and Afghanistan. He's also trained in martial arts and boxing. And the dude is making bank, earning a staggering $7 a minute. That's $405 an hour, which adds up to a $5 million a year job. But it's not easy. Chuko is constantly on high alert protecting Messi from overzealous fans and paparazzi. He's always ready to step in if things get physical. It's a tough job, but for him, it's just another day at the office. In February 2022, a disturbing video surfaced showing Kurt Zuma, then playing for West Ham United, mistreating his cat. The video filmed and shared by his brother sparked immediate outrage. The consequences were severe. West Ham suspended Zuma and gave him a hefty fine of 250,000 pounds. Adidas, his sportswear sponsor, dropped him 
and legal proceedings followed. Zuma admitted to animal cruelty and was sentenced to community service. On a brighter note, his cats were rehomed and are reportedly living in a loving environment. This incident cast a dark shadow over Zuma's career and reputation. Despite his apologies, the damage was irreparable. Some players hurt animals, while others are helping people without even knowing it. This story all starts with frustration. Ronaldo's goal against Serbia in a World Cup qualifier gets disallowed. Incredible. Portugal claiming that they should have a goal. Ronaldo, in a fit of anger, throws his captain's armband to the ground. But this is where the story gets good. A fan picks up the armband and auctions it off, not for personal gain, but to raise money for a life-saving surgery for a six-month-old Serbian boy who's battling a rare disease. The armband fetches an impressive $75,000, enough to cover the surgery costs, leading to the boy's full recovery. When Ronaldo learned about the incredible gesture, he was deeply touched and expressed his gratitude. Our final story turns the clock back to 1996, a tale that seems seems more like a plot from a comedy film than a chapter in football history. At the heart of the story was a Senegalese amateur footballer named Ali Dia, a man with a dream and a daring plan. Dia managed to convince Southampton's manager, Graeme Souness, that he was a professional player. And how? By leveraging a supposed recommendation from George Wea, the Ballon d'Or winning striker. Dia's claims were bold, playing for the Senegal team, scoring goals in the German second division, you name it. Souness, hooked by the story, signed Dia and even put him on the field against Leeds United. For 53 minutes, Dia lived the dream of a professional footballer with a shot on goal to boot. But soon, reality hit. His performance didn't match the hype, leading to his substitution and unraveling his tale. The truth was far less glamorous. No Senegal national team, no German second division, just a stint with Blight Spartans in the lower leagues of English football. Southampton swiftly showed Dia the door, and just like that, he vanished from football forever.